Today I am taking over Wendy's little sewing booth up here because I've got a bag of goodies and I'm going to be making new tethers for our harnesses. We never really wanted to buy them because the ones for sale at places like West Marine or Defender are often either too long or way too expensive. So today I'm borrowing the sewing machine because I'm going to be making some tethers for our harnesses to connect to the jack lines. I've got some one inch climbing tubular webbing and some shock cord. So I'm going to make custom length custom tethers so that they fit us and fit our needs. So I'm going to make them exactly the way we need to make them to fit on our boat to make sure that we are not going overboard. So one of the things that I tried with our old tethers was to add shock cord through the webbing so it kind of scrunches it down and makes the whole thing a lot more manageable. So I'm going to do that again with these ones and it makes the tether about half as long. This is only maybe a 30 inch piece of shock cord and it's going to make a six foot tether go down to 30 inches and it's really easy to just thread it through. I'll leave links to everything that uh, we're using down in the description of this video. This shock cord I purchased a while ago and we've used it for a couple of different projects and it's really, really good. That looks pretty good. These carabiners are from a US manufacturer and they're made out of 316 stainless. So this carabiner is the one that gets attached to the actual harness and then you've got a short lock off so when you get somewhere you can clip off short and swing on your harness and then the whole thing has shock cord in it so it stows down nice and short but when you're using it um, you can get up to about six feet away. We really like having the shorter one so when you're clipped off you can get somewhere and you can clip off to something close and you can lean against your harness and have both hands free to work on the boat. And then the longer end we attach to the jack line and it has a little bit of protection on it so that the carabiner doesn't scratch and dull up the paint. Uh, this is just the sheath from some double braid rope and a little bit of heat shrink tubing on there. Obviously we're not at sea right now, but it's a lot easier to film and demonstrate this stuff in a harbor where the boat is flat and not moving around and we both don't have to worry about falling overboard. So our long tether we attach to the jack line and that's the one that really keeps us on the boat. Um, it's long enough that we go down the windward side and we can reach a little bit of the leeward side without actually going over. And then the shorter tether we use to just sort of like clip off when we get somewhere. Um, and since you're not falling on it, we can kind of clip off anywhere and you can just kind of like swing and you can then use both of your arms. I've also clipped off to like the boom vang or a reefing or something and you can just hang out. The nice part about this shorter tether is that it doesn't have to be attached to something super, super secure because you're not falling on it and creating that shock load. It's just long enough and just strong enough that you can kind of swing back, you can put pressure on your harness and freeze up both of your hands to work without worrying about falling all the way off and um, landing on your long lanyard. There's a saying that says, one hand for you, one hand for the boat, but with a short tether and something to sort of latch it off to, now you're free it up so you can have two hands to work with, which we found to be much more useful. We'll probably add some sort of dedicated attachment point to the mast soon. We just don't have that fixture yet. We've also found from our own experience that just a normal open gate, non-locking carabiner for us and how we use them is a lot safer. Some people will argue that having a locking carabiner is safer because you can't accidentally unlock it and slip out. But for us, the ease of use and the ability to open and close quickly with gloves on or with cold hands or in any condition and not have to fiddle with some sort of locking mechanism. We're not saying that's the best solution. We're just saying that that's what works for us. Well, I apologize for the noise, guys. This harbor is pretty loud, but I hope you found this video useful. Uh, we certainly like these jackets and the upgrades we've made to them. So we'll see you next time. Cheers.